major tech super companies are racing to get to space and have turned much of their attention towards Mars. That's why we're breaking down secrets inside the colonization of Mars. Number 5. Getting there Within the next decade, NASA will finally have a spacecraft capable of making the journey to Mars. The massive new 2,500-ton SLS, combined with the Orion capsule, will enable astronauts to explore beyond the safety of low Earth orbit for the first time since the end of the Apollo moon program in 1972. Although any long-duration mission is also likely to employ a habitation module, giving the crew a bit more room to move around in, the nine-month trip to Mars is going to be uncomfortable and boring. It could also be extremely dangerous. Number 4. Become self-sufficient Having successfully landed on Mars, you need air, water, food, and power to survive. In the short term, you could rely on supplies brought from Earth or sent on supply missions, but eventually you're going to have to produce your own. Number 3. Form a government I have spoken before of the challenges of governing an extraterrestrial colony. The early missions, particularly those involving space agencies, will almost certainly be run with a hierarchical command system. The past 50 years of human spaceflight have taught us that, in the extreme environment of space, this is the safest way. However, there is a fine line between a Star Trek-type command structure and a brutal military dictatorship. And as the settlement matures, some sort of democracy is going to be favored. Number 2. Expand The first Mars settlers will be living in the capsules they arrive in, perhaps augmented by a few extra capsules sent ahead and maybe some inflatable domes. But just as settlers will be utilizing local resources for water, food, and energy, they will also hope to use local materials to build a larger colony, or even spin-off colonies. At the very least, it would make sense to use Martian rock to bury the habitants to shield occupants from radiation. Later, the surface could be drilled to form caves or rock could be excavated for building materials. Just as we build houses from stone on Earth, it might also be possible to extract useful minerals for metals or glass. Robert Zubin, the president of the Mars Society, is one of the leading exponents of terraforming Mars, transforming the planet from an airless barren world to an oxygen-rich green and pleasant realm with a fully functioning ecosystem. Number 1. Have children and establish a culture Assuming their sperm or eggs have not been zapped by cosmic radiation on the way to Mars, something space agencies are already giving serious thought to, then sooner or later a certain percentage of settlers are going to want to have kids. It is, after all, the only way of perpetuating the colony over generations. For it to be successful, the population needs to be large enough to avoid inbreeding over subsequent generations. Cameron Smith, an anthropologist at Portland State University in Oregon, has suggested that a population of 2,000 would be sufficient to ensure long-term survival. If we're going to have a long-term future in space, it won't be done by a handful of astronauts. It'll be whole communities, he told BBC Future earlier this year. Smith reckons that, over generations, a new culture would emerge, as humans become Martians rather than migrants. It's a view shared by Zubrin. At some point, the Mars base breaks out of becoming a base and becomes an actual village, he says. A real society with real people living real lives, with children in schools and community orchestras. A child born under the red sky of Mars will have a very different outlook to one born on Earth, and may never return to the homeworld just as many descendants of European settlers in the U.S. do not have passports. Every step to establishing human civilization on Mars is perfectly possible. With a focused effort, it is very much doable. One question then remains. Do you really want to go? I mean, really? Mars is a bleak, cold, airless, rust-stained world. Simply staying alive will be a daily challenge. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. This has been our breakdown of secrets inside the colonization of Mars.